how are we doing today? My name is Ruby, if you're new here, welcome to my channel! Today I have a really requested video for you guys and it is all about my top favorite products from e.l.f. Cosmetics. For those who don't know, I actually worked at e.l.f. Cosmetics for seven months. I was a makeup artist there and a sales associate there at one of their stores in New York City. I absolutely love my experience there. I would go back in a heartbeat. For those that don't know, I left because I'm an actress and I got a job on a national tour. I know a ton about the products. I'm a huge advocate for the brand. Even before I worked for them, I was such a fan of e.l.f. Cosmetics and so from working there, I have quite a few products that I've accumulated and through trial and error, I've learned what really works and what kind of doesn't. So today I wanted to focus on my favorite products from e.l.f. So let's just jump right in. My first favorite that I want to talk about is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield SPF 50 Skin Shielding Primer. This stuff is incredible. To this day, it is one of my favorite primers. It came out while I was working at e.l.f. and I really liked it because I saw that it has SPF in it and I can sometimes be really lazy about forgetting to apply SPF. It also has what's called a universal tint. I'm gonna be very honest, it's not universal. It's better if you have a lighter skin tone. If you have a darker skin tone, I would always make sure to really work it into the skin extra carefully. But this stuff is just amazing. It blurs if you have enlarged pores like I do. It just conceals them. I like to wear this sometimes even even like alone without makeup, underneath makeup, it's beautiful. It's not too thick, it blends seamlessly into the skin. And I would sell like 10 of these a day working at e.l.f. because I just believe in it so much and I feel like it's a really overlooked product from them and it's wonderful. And then sticking with primers, again, kind of an overlooked product. This is the e.l.f. Glitter Primer. Essentially, this is just an eyeshadow primer specifically made for glitter shadows and it seriously works. It basically has a slightly tackier formula and something about it just grabs glitter and shimmer shadows so well. It literally intensifies the pigment of any shimmery eyeshadow. It's honestly amazing. We would do like demos in the store and show people the difference and it's insane and it's only like a dollar. But if you're a fan of like the NYX glitter primer, Too Faced uh, glitter primer, I would really recommend giving this a try because it is literally one dollar. So you're saving so much money by using the e.l.f. brand instead. Next, I want to talk about my all time favorite foundation from e.l.f. It's probably no surprise that I'm about to show this. It's what I'm wearing on my skin today. This is the e.l.f. foundation serum with goji berry. So this is a serum foundation, which mostly only high-end brands do. I don't think I've ever seen like a drugstore slash affordable makeup brand come out with one of these until e.l.f. This has SPF 25 in it, so again, great for the summertime. I wear the color light medium, and it's what I'm wearing on my skin today. This is such an amazing foundation because you can use this as an everyday foundation. It just makes your skin look a little bit more healthy and glowy. When I say glowy though, it's also great for those with oily skin. I have super oily skin and I don't feel like this slips and slides at all and if you use that primer with it, you're literally like golden. But then if you're somebody like me who wears a lot of glam makeup, if you wear two layers of this, it still doesn't look cakey at all. It just provides an extra layer of like coverage. It is seriously so amazing. It's a little bit more of a watery foundation which I don't particularly mind because that means I can use it with both like a beauty blender and a brush but this stuff is seriously so amazing I bought this for so many people as gifts when I was doing like makeup tutorials in the store this is the foundation that I would always grab I've gone through like eight of these I seriously go through them like water it's an amazing foundation up next we have a powder this is the elf beauty shield antioxidant armored setting powder the one thing that I think elf has always struggled with is a good setting powder. There was never a powder in the store that I really like felt like I could recommend to a customer or a client and then this little guy came out and my opinion was forever changed. It is a super soft, super finely milled powder. There's absolutely no flashback if you use this when you're taking pictures. It is an incredible powder. It's what I'm using today. I don't find that it feels heavy, doesn't clog my pores, but it keeps me matte all day. Next, I want to talk about two blushes from e.l.f. that I love. The first of which is one of their primer infused blushes. This is in the color Always Rosy. These are pretty new again to the brand. Um, I love e.l.f. blushes, but I don't like the fact that they don't carry a lot of matte blushes. So when these came out, I was super intrigued. They came out like a couple weeks after I left my store and I still went in and picked them up. They are beautiful, they're matte, they're creamy, they blend so easily. I know that there's complaints from customers that the more glittery formulas are a little bit harder to blend, but these just look beautiful. 
And then this is like super new to the brand. I believe it came out just a few weeks ago. This is one of their like multi-purpose sticks. I have mine in the color Glistening Peach. And basically this is kind of their version of the NARS The Multiple, if you guys know what that is. Basically it's a stick that you can use on your eyes, lips, or your face. I personally got this for my eyes and my cheeks because I just thought that it would be a beautiful blush color. It kind of looks like a less pigmented version of NARS's Orgasm, so it's better for everyday wear. I have the NARS Orgasm blush, but I gotta be like in the mood to wear that because it's very intense. If you're like me and you're a really big fan of the monochromatic looks, this is also great. Um, if you're a big traveler like I am, multi-purpose products like this are awesome because they save so much room in your bag and I'm just a really big fan of these. Up next, I have two highlighting products that I want to talk about. The first of which is the e.l.f. Targeted Natural Glow Stick. Now I have all three colors, but my personal favorite is Champagne Glow. Basically, these just look like jumbo twist up crayons. Um, these are just so wonderful for so many reasons. I like to use these on both like the high points of my face and my eyes so it can be used as again like another multi-purpose product. They are super super easy to blend. I like using these on days that I'm going for more of a natural like look how good my skin looks kind of makeup look. Um, but you can also use these as a base more of like a, a cream base for then a really intense powder highlight and it's a cream to powder formula. So again it's gonna set and dry if you don't want to put something on top of this. Or something a little bit more like wham bam in your face. These are one of the highlighting HD powders. This one is in the color Sunset Glow. It's an amazing like gold champagne. Kind of reminds me of a lighter version of Champagne Pop from Becca. These are super intense. Alone on their own dry, they are incredible, but if you use these wet, oh my gosh. But these are incredible. They're also great for traveling because it does have a mirror in it. They're super silky. I love using these. There's so many color options, so they're great. Now for eyeshadow palettes, I know that I've talked about these a lot on my channel, but I haven't seen a lot of other people talk about them. A lot of people focus on like the 10 uh, color like eyeshadow palettes from e.l.f., the new chromatic palettes, but these are my personal favorite. These are the Beautifully Bare eyeshadow palettes. Now I think the reason maybe they're not talked about as much is because there are only three of them, so there's not as much of a color option, but the pigmentation on these just reign supreme. So I have two out of the three palettes, the first of which is called Neutral Nude. And here you get two matte shades and three shimmer shades. And then this one is my personal favorite. This is Naked Roses. In this one, you get three matte shades and two shimmery shades. I love this one because I really love like rosy tones and like mauves and reds. These though are absolutely incredible. So buttery, so pigmented. I favor these over any of the other eyeshadows in e.l.f. I just think that they're absolutely incredible. And again, nobody talks about these on YouTube, but from working in the store for so long and using so many of these products doing makeovers on clients, I just learned how incredible these were. And so that's why I keep them in my collection too. For lips, I have two products, the first of which is just the e.l.f. Clear Gloss. Everybody and their mother talks about this stuff, but for good reason. It's seriously like the best clear gloss I've ever tried because it is so glossy and thick, but in a good way, meaning that it won't wear off super fast. When I was working at the store, it would be so funny because we would have people come in who would literally just buy like 15 of these and nothing else. And so it was just hilarious to see how popular this product really is. And I had never tried it, so I was like, what's the deal with this gloss? I'll buy it, it's $2. And honestly, it's legit. It is so good, and over any lip color, it looks amazing. It gives a lovely, just lacquer shine, but on its own, it's incredible too. And then I also just adore the e.l.f. Plumping Gloss in the color Champagne Glam. This is a really pretty champagne gold gloss um, with a little bit of shimmer in it, not glitter, it's more shimmer. This is just so universally flattering on anybody. I've gone through so many of these, it's not even funny. This is my personal one, but I also keep this in my freelance kit as well. It has a plumping effect, so it's gonna give you like a cooling, tingling sensation, which I personally love. I know some people don't really like that, but I just love this. I think the color is so gorgeous, and especially like for the warmer months and the summertime, you 
really can't go wrong. Finally, I am sure I've talked about this on my channel way too much, but I'm gonna mention it again because it's an e.l.f. favorites video. This is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Daily Defense Makeup Mist. This is one of my favorite, favorite makeup mists. I know that some people say that the application or like the spritzer is a little harsh, but I personally really like that because I like to be drenched in setting spray. It's seriously so wonderful. It's $8. It's a huge, huge, huge bottle. I have two more sitting back up there because I always like to have backups on me. It's also a great medium if you want to like spritz this on your brush before applying an eyeshadow to really give it a more pigmented effect. It smells amazing. It's great for sensitive skin. It's formulated without parabens, so it's really good for your skin. I just can't recommend this enough. That, you guys, completes my e.l.f. favorites video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video and you found some new products that maybe you're now really encouraged to try. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up to let me know that you'd like to see more of me on this channel. Please subscribe and help me grow the Ruby Rocks the World family. It would mean the world to me. Follow me on all my social media networks. Links are always in the down bar below. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day, night, afternoon, whenever you all are watching this video. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Okay? Bye, everybody.